Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True, episode 25. In the last episode, I farmed Leviathan for a very long time and finally got the Venator Vestige at kill count 1473. In today's video, you guys voted for it in the last one. We will be doing Corrupted Gauntlet. I am very excited to get into this and learn it and possibly get a big fat weapon C drop. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching, and if you're new here and like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see more of my videos when I put them out in the future. But I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Now, I have been to the gauntlet before, and as you can see, I've done 16 normal gauntlets, got 8 completions on that, and I've done 12 corrupted ones where I did not get a single completion. So, still a lot to work on, not a lot of experience, but... Let's go ahead and get right into it. I will be doing the tier one prep and getting used to that whole thing. So quick rundown of what I do to prep is I like to kill three of the minions as soon as I find them. This will guarantee me a weapon frame so I can make a bow so I can go kill the tier three bosses to upgrade my weapons to tier three. After that, I am doing tier one. So I want to collect three cotton, three ore, and three pieces of bark so I can make my armor. And I'm collecting as many shards as I can. You can get these from doing anything, but usually just gathering the resources that you need and killing the three tier one monsters and the demi bosses is enough shards to get you everything that you need for the kill most of the time. I also gather three to four herbs for the potions. These potions are absolutely necessary pretty much for the fight. And after I have all those, I fill the rest of my inventory up with fish. Now, if we look at the map here, the red line is what represents the route I take. It is um, a pretty efficient route. And the red dots that you see are locations where the tier three demi bosses can spawn. So as you're running through and collecting materials, you want to open up those rooms to see if a demi boss has spawned in there. And if there has, then keep a tab where it is so that when you get your bow, you can go back and get the materials to make your tier three weapons. The corners that are labeled X are rooms that the demi bosses cannot spawn. So it is not really worth your time opening them up. And I keep the crystal teleport with me for when I am on the end of my second trip and I just got everything. I teleport right back to the middle because sometimes when you're trying to find the last demi boss, you're going to have to run around the edge of the map until you find it and then you're really far away. So I always try to save the teleport for a situation like that. But yes, the first trip usually consists of me getting my tier one armor, the weapon frame, and maybe a couple herbs, going back, cooking the food, dropping it off, making the armor and the weapon. And then if I've seen any bosses by that point, um, after I make the weapon, I will head straight towards that boss and then try to find the other boss if I haven't found him yet or head to the other boss if I had found him yet. And after I kill the bosses or on my way to the bosses, if there are any fish around, I do fish up another um, inventory so I can have a full inventory of fish for the kill. Now, 250 to 300 crystal shards is probably right around the range that you need to make everything. And if you use the crystal shards on the pestle and mortar, then you can make dust, which is what you need as a secondary ingredient to make the actual potions themselves. But after you're prepped and everything, you will go into Hunlif. It will be praying a random style and so you want to enter it always attacks with range first so go in protecting range and the attack prayer that you have for the weapon that you're using at the moment hunlift will attack four times and then switch to either ranged or magic whichever one it was not attacking with at first every five attacks that you do the hunlift will change their protection prayer to the attack that you had just used. Also, sometimes Hunlif will throw out a purple orb at you that will disable all your prayers. You will need to quickly switch your prayers back on so that you don't tank a big ass hit from the Hunlif. Periodically, she will spawn these AOEs on the ground that will hurt if you stand in them. Red means it's not activated and when it starts to glow that means that they are active and you don't need to be on them. These can kill you very quickly. She will spawn tornadoes that chase after you and you need to run away from them. One isn't really strong enough to kill you but later on in the fight they start to spawn two, three, and four tornadoes and if four tornadoes stacked on top of each other hit you you're more than likely just going to get one shot 
So learning to maneuver around the tornadoes is necessary for the completion of this fight. Every one third of her health, more tornadoes will spawn and the AOEs will start to trigger faster. So to be able to complete this fight, you will need to be able to dodge tornadoes while dodging AOEs, while switching prayers after every four attacks that she does, and while switching your weapon to whatever style that she isn't protecting against. For me, I found a good strat is to just camp really low HP. Once you're below 20 HP, I would go ahead and eat a food. And during the end of the fight, usually most of the time, I only try to eat food when I'm below 20 health or when she spawns in the tornadoes. I like to eat a food right before I have to start running from the tornadoes just in case I accidentally tank a hit or two. I'll have that little bit extra HP to maybe survive it. Definitely not a tutorial, just a like a little rundown so that if you don't know what's going on, you kind of do now. But if you're looking for a guide, there are way better guides out there from more knowledgeable people than me. Aw, oh, fuck. I got so close. I did not get like any fucking prep done at all. But I'm gonna stay here just for the practice. Oh, there I go. I thought he switched after he uh, turned off my prayers, but he did not. Oh, I forgot to switch prayers. Oh, I was getting close. I was trying to dodge the fucking lasers. I didn't see him switch his attacks. Oh! oh! Oh my- ah! ah! That was really close. That was the closest I've been. I'm proud of that attempt. I forgot to flick prayers at the end again while running from the tornadoes. So if I can get that down at the end, I think I got it. Oh man! Oh, I didn't even see him switch pairs. That was a horrible, horrible attempt. Shit! <laughs> One uncut sapphire. Woo! God damn. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. I switched pairs like a tick or two too late. There we go, our first corrupted gauntlet KC. There we go, and we got ourselves a gauntlet cape. We are professionals in the making. Let's see what is in the chest for our first kill. Um, I mean, not that bad. Three rune full helms, some crystal shards, uncut emeralds, and adamant arrows. I mean, cannot complain about that. Now for many more to come. Oh! I was so close. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I didn't see him switch pairs. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw right there at the end. I didn't see him turn me. Okay, oh, I still got the kill. Ooh. Yeah. It gets fucking hectic at the end. What does Michael Jackson like doing on vacation? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I had nowhere to go right there. That was unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I dodged that. Did I fuck it? No! Ah, oh, I killed him at the same time I died. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Oh. oh. I ran out of food. Oh, I'm gonna get stopped. Fucking yellow quick. 
fuck. Ah, uh, I thought. Yeah, I should have switched to range. I, I, I knew it was going to be range. I should have switched. Nothing else to say. There we go. Very nice. Uh, Still had five food left over. So getting a little bit better, but still kind of sketchy for the most part. 218k. I had nowhere to go. I, it was either stand in the fucking AOE or get stomped or get hit by the laser. There was, there was just nothing I could do about that. Bad positioning by me. I had no room to run. I don't know how to navigate that. Oh, him being in the middle fucked it all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't fucking know. Oh, there we go. That was that was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. All right, uh, some room plate skirts, dragon arrows. Wow, nice. Oh, that got really close at the end. Oh, we got the kill. There we go. That is five kills as well. Oh, I didn't switch pairs. Yeah, there's a lot happening right there for me. Oh my god, I was red-clicking fucking ton of... There we go, that was my best run yet. I had a lot of food left over still. Three, two, one, mage. There we go. Okay, so three, two, one, mage is without taking damage off prayer for the whole fight. So that is a, a step of improvement right there. And let's see what we get. All right, some blood runes, some, some gems, and crystal shards. There we go, two in a row. I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting better, so that's a that's a good feeling to have for some rune full helms. There we go. Um, I wasn't able to find a dragon, so I had to use the uh, the melee weapon for the first time, but still got the clear, so that's pretty nice. And we got some gems and some blah runes. A little rougher than last time, but we still got it. And we got some rune chain bodies. And some dragon arrows. There we go, another kill. Starting to get consistent. Corrupted Gauntlet Master, that is 10 KC. Some battle stabs, okay. But I've been at it today for about five hours, so I think I am a little gauntlet out for the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some skilling. All right, I am gonna go mining at Shiloh Village. Get me some gems and some decent XP. Actually, haven't really gave an update on skilling in a while, so might as well. Um, I do have mining at 84 now, fishing's at 84, cooking's at 88. Um, other changes, I did get 91 fletching, and I am at 85 room crap, but I'm not sure if I've uh, mentioned that yet. But that's pretty much all the skilling I've been doing. Mainly room crafting and fishing. That's what I've been doing for the most part, but I'm going to switch it up with some uh, active training with mining because the most of the skilling I've been doing lately has just been AFK. Level 85 mining. This is a new day. I uh, I figured out that uh, being locking yourself in the red prison for a whole day is just not the way to go. Um, I'm pretty sure I can only handle about four hours at a time, so I think that's what I'll do is about four hours every day. Oh shit, yeah, I was I, I was stuck. Yeah, I don't know how soon that AoE would have popped off, but I guess I could have ran there and chanced it, but... Yeah, either way, it was kind of a shitty situation I put myself in. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> There we go. That is a kill. First kill of the day. Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh my god. I, I don't know what I was doing right there. I There we go. Still had a little bit of food left too. Gauntlet Master. What is that for? 12 kills. I guess that, that may add up to 20 if I look at the leaderboard for my normals. 8 plus 12 is 20. That is, that is correct. Okay. Uh. 147k can't complain about that there we go easy money Ooh, some good alcohols right there oh my god i got splatted so much oh god 
That went very horrible. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, there we go. I had a bit of a fucking losing streak, but here we go. I don't know how I didn't die. <laughs> Fuck. What? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. There we go. And two room pickaxes and a room plate body. Fuck. Easy money. Some ruined halberds. How much are those out for? 74k? Fuck! Alright, and if we look at that, that is four hours. Um, I think I got like eight kills, six kills a day, it looks like. Well, uh, I mean, I felt like I got a little better, but I also felt like I got a little worse at the same time. So uh, I guess I'll check back in tomorrow and go for another round. There we go. A couple scary moments there, but. Uh, for some good alcables. There we go, two in a row. Had a lot of food left over, too. That was a good run. Four rune full helms. Three in a row. I think that's the first time I've done three in a row. So, that's awesome. Some law runes, some adamant arrows, and some pickaxes. Oh, shit. I accidentally walked into the fucking AoE and got hit for like 45, so... Yeah, that wasn't great. There we go. Easy money. This is definitely getting easier now. Still a challenge every time, though, I must say. Hey, some dragon arrows. Nice. There we go. Some battle saves. All right. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Uh... Fuck! He was at four health. I had nowhere to go. I had absolutely nowhere to go. Ugh. Yeah, I, I put myself in a very bad situation. Keep putting myself in the corner. I do not need to go in the corners. That's... Unless I absolutely have to. Alright, there we go. Bit better of a run that time. Couple alcables and some dragon arrows, right? God damn it! Fuck! I'm getting so close. There we go, redemption. Look at that. Great run, great run. Got some runes and some gems. Alright, I think I have hit my four hour mark for the day. I am off today, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then i'm gonna come back to cg for a little bit after break i do have some friends that are wanting me to do next soon and from what they are saying next targets people with the lowest defense a lot so they are highly recommending i get 99 defense so i'm going to go do some either nightmare zone or some slayer i'm not sure which one yet but um, I will let you know when I decide that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some Slayer for, uh, the moment. I have a Jellies task right now, so I guess I might as well go Burst. Alright, and I need to buy my Din's Bulwark back, so... Just a cheeky little 14 mil, you know? And I know this video was supposed to be all Corrupted Gauntlet, but... I have found out that I can only really take it in short, well not short bursts, but in bursts. I can't just focus on that the whole time, it will burn me out. So I'm going to do as much as possible until I feel like I don't want to do it anymore and then I will take a break. And even after this video, I think I'm going to still do Corrupted Gauntlet on a daily basis. I think I might go for an hour a day. I think that would be a uh, good thing to do because it is really good practice on your movement and I think there's a lot of benefits to be gained from doing the Corrupted Gauntlet. So I want to do it, but I think the best solution is just to do it one hour a day after this episode. Of course, I'm going to be you know, going hog wild in it this episode. But yeah, expect for future videos, you know, little updates on my Corrupted Gauntlet grind as well. Being so hammered in and focused that whole time, sweating to get all your resources and everything can be a bit taxing. 
But the good things about Corrupted Gauntlet is, you know, you don't get any death fees. If you do get kills, the money is pretty good. And if you're really consistent, the money per hour can actually be really amazing, even if you don't get drops. So there's definitely high upside to doing the Corrupted Gauntlet. And I just got 161 Hydras, so I think I'm going to pause on the Slayer and just do some Nightmare Zone, because I'm really just wanting the defense. I can't really train defense there, so but I really want that task, so I'm going to save it for later. And I got the spare cash right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a uh, Basculus Jaw. And there we go, we got ourselves our... Nezzy not face guard back. I got that basculus jaw a long time ago now. For those that don't know, I did get a basculus jaw back when I did my first basculus night task. So I haven't done them since, but I did sell the jaw pretty much as soon as I got it. But it's nice to have it back. All right, did nightmare zone for a couple hours. I think I'm ready to come back. Uh, I got 184k defense XP. So yeah, let's go back into the gauntlet. Did it. Oh my god! <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Dude, I... Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're done with CG. Well, um, let's go home. End of video. That is it. Dude. The red, the red young live. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I, I, I still can't believe I got the fucking pet. What the fuck? I, I don't even know what to say. This is dope though. I love this pet. Look at that. Oh, fuck yeah. If we look at that, uh, 25 KC on the corrupted and then eight on the regular gauntlet. That's fucking crazy. I don't even know, man. <laughs> I'm sinking in my chair right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to be doing gauntlet, you know? This is just motivation to do more. Oh my god, I, I had no food right there, but I still lived. Oh my god. Oh, we got a crystal weapon seed. Very cool. What is it worth, like 200k? Yeah, that's pretty close. There we go, another kill. A decent amount of crystal shards. Alright, and that is going to be... All that I do for the day. Can't believe I got the fucking pet. That is just crazy. But ending off the day with 79 deaths and 29 completions. So definitely got a lot more completions under the belt. Oh yeah, I mean we also got the cheeky crystal weapon seed. But any further one will just kind of be a letdown I think. First try of the day and we get a clear. Very nice. Oh, some dragon arrows. I mean you can't complain about that. Oh, and there is level 99 magic off of fucking Alk. I knew it was coming up, I just didn't know when it was coming up, but there we go. That is 99 magic. There is the man on the second floor, look at him. Alright, and we can just buy ourselves the magic cape from here, I guess. And there we go. That is the magic cape trimmed. It looks very nice. It actually matches my outfit pretty well. The blue, the blue and white. Yeah, it goes pretty good. Oh yeah, that's a good emote. That is a good emote. I like that. Now this is the first skill cape that I've gotten that actually has like some real benefits to it. You can change to any spell book that you have unlocked up to five times a day. So this can be very useful for certain situations. All right, but there is no time to waste. Back to the corrupted gauntlet. <laughs> All right, I think I'm honestly starting to get used to moving around in that area while the fucking tornadoes are chasing my ass. I think I actually fucking got it down now. All right, let's see what we get. All right, some law runes. And more dragon arrows, I guess, yeah. Another one. Five rune pool helms. I fucking yellow clicked instead of fucking... Oh... Huh? 
Oh. That was close. Had one food left. I had a very bad prep. As you can see, I had two raw paddlefish still. But bam. All right. Some mithril arrows and some cosmic runes. All right. That is approaching the four hour mark. So uh, I guess we'll look at the board. See how we did today. So we now have 40 completions and 86 deaths. So I think I died. I think I ended yesterday with like 77. So like nine or 10 deaths or something like that. Still have a lot to improve on, but I feel like I am definitely getting a lot better. So I was thinking about it today and I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet. Uh, I have 255 mil. I'm going to need it for next anyways, but I might as well get it now while I train defense so I can get the you know extra accuracy and maybe a max hit off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the uh, Avernic Hilt. Now this is going to be a permanent upgrade. So, but yep, just bought it for 91, 92 mil. 92 mil for the Avernic Defender. I will never see that money again. But if we take our Dragon Defender, which is right here, we should be able to use it. And there we go. We got ourselves an Avernic Defender. So in comparison to the Dragon Defender, the Avernic Defender has plus five attack bonus to Stab Slash and Crush. It also has a little bit better magic and range attack bonus, but it's still negative. You also gain five defense bonus in the stab slash and crush categories, as well as a little bit more defense on magic and range. You get plus eight melee strength, while the dragon defender only gives plus six. And that looks to be it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Extra attack, extra defense, extra strength bonus. I mean, what more could you ask for? And I still have 163 mil left. Also did some more thinking, and I think I'm just going to skip the Hydra task and just go for more Slayer, which is perfect. We get Gargoyles, so that's, you know, free defense XP. So that, yeah, that was worth it. I just, I am not a fan of Nightmare Zone. I liked staying there for a little bit because I don't really have a lot of points, and I know I'm going to need to imbue some things in the future. So I stacked up a little bit of points. I'm not sure what I ended off with, but it was probably around a million, maybe a little bit more. So that'll be enough points to imbue a couple of things in the future. All right, I just got a Necreal's task, and that got me thinking that I should just go ahead and buy another upgrade that I'll probably end up keeping forever, and that is the Imbued Heart. It is 73 million right now, so there we go. We still have 90 mil left. Now, if I want to make this into a Saturated Heart, I need 150,000 Ancient Essence which actually is pretty fucking cheap now holy crap ancient essence has dropped in price hella ever since the uh, update with uh you're able to chisel the ancient icons yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it it's a pretty cheap upgrade considering i just spent fucking like fucking 70 something mil on that yeah 74 mil pretty much on it so might as well spend the extra five on it and make ourselves the saturated heart all right, we have a saturated heart that we can use forever. All right, another day. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a whole four hours in today. I had to do some stuff IRL, so I was just doing some nightmare zone for the day. But I am a little over halfway to 94 defense off of that. So some dragon halberds. That's the first dragon halberd drop I've gotten. I actually forgot to switch spell books. So some rune chain bodies. Oh, I got chanced really hard right there. Well, I didn't get as much time as I wanted to today, and my clicks weren't really going off, so I didn't get too many kills. But ending off the day with 43 completions. But that is going to do it for me for this video. Got a total of 43 kills this week, which uh, is a little bit less than I thought I would. But seeing that I did put a time limit on myself for every day, it kind of makes sense why I didn't get as many but either way, I feel like I've learned a lot and uh, had had a pretty crazy drop with the pet and stuff. But yeah, if we look, I have 157 kills logged, 43 were Corrupted Gauntlet, 8 were Regular Gauntlet. So 51 kills and 106 deaths, totaling up to 6.5 mil, which could be a lot better if I, you know, actually just got the fucking kills. But, uh, you know, your the loot you get is extremely worse whenever you don't get the kill. So it is what it is. I guess the plus is that there is no death fees. But anyways, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put up more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next time. Bye.